Recently, at the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, we filed a petition with the Food and Drug Administration of the U.S. government. And our petition asked that packages of cheese be labeled in a new way. Many people pick up cheese and they might be aware that it has a lot of fat in it. They might be aware it has cholesterol. Some of them might even realize that it has a lot of salt. In fact, there's more salt in cheese, gram per gram, than there is in potato chips, so it's a lot. But the one thing that they don't know is that cheese contains hormones, estrogens, the female sex hormones that, as you know, are linked to breast cancer. So we're asking the Food and Drug Administration to put a label on cheese to say that, yes, this contains reproductive hormones that could increase breast cancer mortality. What's that about? Researchers have looked at the relationship between estrogen levels in the blood and the likelihood of developing breast cancer, particularly postmenopausal breast cancer. And it's true. The higher your estrogen level, the high, in other words, the more estrogen that's circulating in your blood, the higher your risk of developing breast cancer after menopause. But what if a woman has had breast cancer already? The same thing applies. That if she has extra estrogen circulating in her blood, the likelihood of dying of that condition increases as well. Researchers have looked specifically at cheese, cheese and other high-fat dairy products like butter. And what they found has been shocking. If you study women who have had breast cancer in the past and have been treated and are obviously focused on never having the cancer come back, those women who consume one or more servings of high-fat dairy every day have about a 49% higher cancer mortality compared to women who generally avoid those products. So the bottom line, estrogen is in cheese and it increases the risk of developing cancer and increases the risk of dying of it. So where does all this estrogen come from? Keep in mind, cheese doesn't just come from the cheese store. It came from milk out of a cow. Cows are impregnated annually and a cow's pregnancy is about nine months. During that nine month period, that pregnant cow is making estrogens. It gets into the bloodstream. It goes from there into the milk. When milk is turned into cheese, the estrogens follow the fat. And so there are just traces in milk. There's a bit more in the cheese. And some people will say quite accurately that it's only a trace. It's not a huge amount. But the average person is eating kilo after kilo after kilo of cheese more than ever, and they're getting traces that nature never thought that they should have. So for good health, skip the cheese.